Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Lufia in the Fortress of Doom. In our last episode, we encountered a man who claims to be Gades, the sinister of destruction. And although he commended us for being unlike the other knights, most notably due to the fact that we actually showed up, he wasted no time in knocking us into oblivion. And if it weren't for Lufia coming to save the day, Kai would be a corpse right now. So going on the advice of Daniel and Lila from Chatham, somebody here in Trek has information on the Sinistral, so let's take a look around and see what we can find out. Oh no. Well, surely we'll never need a ship to go to Lordania. Nope. Over here we get a hairband. Awesome. Let's give that to Lufia right away. Oh. A little quick there, that's plus two defense, so not bad. Here we get another dress. We just want to sell that one. Let's see, there's the inn if you need it, and the item shop. I actually want to buy a couple of antidotes and shrieks, because those will cure the confusion status. Which luckily we didn't have to deal with on our way down here. Those anemones that I mentioned can attack you in groups of four which will just be disastrous to your party. And here we get a Power Gourd. It's basically the trick spell, and it increases your attack power for a couple of rounds in combat. Definitely hang on to that. All right, so first things first, let's buy a long knife for Lufia. And I'll list all of my purchases in the video description for you guys, as always. That way, if you're following along, you'll have a shopping list to go by. And it looks like we're a little bit short, so let's sell some old stuff, like our dress and our dagger. Ooh, we, we still might be short. I want to get the cloth armor for Kai and a robe for Lufia. Ooh, barely have enough gold for that. Yeah, plus four for Kai. Plus seven for Lufia, wow. She has just as much defense as the hero. And her attack power is only two points lower. Um, save your money on a weapon for Kai. Uh, we're going to find one in the very near future. Let's get rid of those. Okay, we're in pretty good shape now. Let's go over here first. Well, like all good RPGs, Best place for information is the pub, so let's see what these people have to say. The Guy Legion? <laughs> well, why would you say that then? Yo, Adrian! Can we borrow your ship? No? Okay. Rubis, huh? We'll be going there eventually. Now, something else you can buy in this game is Cider, which honestly is a waste of time and money. They just restore a very minuscule amount of HP. So, I wouldn't bother with those. But of course! What are you doing here? Anyways, over here we get some arrows and a smoke ball. Now don't confuse the arrows with arrow. What arrows do is attack a group of enemies with a secret escape and a secret swing wing. As opposed to one enemy like the arrow. I'll probably end up selling those at some point. I think that's it for all of the treasure in the town, so let's talk to a few more people. Hey, how's it going? Ah, okay.
Yeah, he kicked my ass pretty good, but I did my best. We had him. We had him. Actually, I remember one of the first times I played this game, when I was younger, I did some sequence breaking and came here before going to Sharon, and I did a ton of level grinding. I think I got up to like level 15, maybe even 20, and I went back to Sharon with new equipment from the armor shop here and my levels, tr thinking I could somehow defeat Gades, and it made no difference. He still one-hit KO'd me, <laughs> but it was fun to try. East Cave to meet the one. We're gonna meet Neo? Alright. No, Neo is not the one. Well sure, sounds good. Let's see. Um Yeah, we might want to rest up before we go over there. The East Cave is to the east, appropriately. Oh, this, I just remembered this. One thing I thought about doing... Oh, new enemies, green orbs. Uh, nothing too special about these guys. They're... You would hit that one, wouldn't you, Lufia? They're, whoops. They're pretty much like every other enemy in the area. You want to go with Flash with Lufia and attack with Kai. Of course, now that they're both weakened, it doesn't matter. But anyways, like I was about to say, one thing I thought about doing later on in the game when we get to some of the longer dungeons is actually use sweet waters to lower the encounter rate on screen as opposed to me cutting out all the random battles because it would take me quite literally over an hour just to do one 15 or 20 minute episode with new enemies, kobolds. I mean the battles are pretty short, they only take one or two rounds, although there are a lot of them. So if I use Sweet Waters to make it through the dungeon, I can then do some off-screen leveling to get caught up to where I need to be, or maybe before a boss I can do some off-screen leveling, which isn't going to be a whole lot. I did some testing on another file uh, a few hours in advance of this, of this one. By the way, those uh, Poison Marshes uh, tiles right there, just like in Dragon Quest, if you step on them, you lose life, so don't do that. Anyways, like I was saying, I, I have another file that's a couple hours ahead of this one. And... Oh, you suck. And even though I, you, I was using Sweet Waters to avoid battles, I was only one level, maybe two levels, lower than I would be if I didn't use them. So it's not a major difference, and again, I could just easily do some leveling off-screen to... Ooh, a mid-arrow! Very nice! Uh, anyways, like I was saying, I could just do some off-screen fighting to get back on track. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you'd rather me just, you know, edit them out, I can do that too. But for right now, um, I'm not going to worry about it because I I'd much rather have as many levels as I can get in the early stages of the game where it's much more important. As opposed to later on, where it's not so critical. Ambushed! Oh, man. Whoa! Oh, man, Lufia, you're not gonna make it. You better defend. And we're gonna heal. Did she get an another turn already? Well, let's try to kill the kobold. Okay, that was close. <laughs> Maybe I'm being superstitious, but does defending give you your next turn faster? I wonder. Yeah, one-shotting those spiders. Very nice. I didn't know those kobolds had such high attack power. Man. Here we get some cloth shoes. Let's give those to Lufia for some more defense. She now has the highest defense. Alright. Mage tank set up? No, not quite. Uh, 
Ah, oh, another new enemy, Boar Worms. Again, just go with Flash, and they should die in one hit. Man, Kai, you're a beast. So today is the 4th of July. So if you guys are celebrating or doing anything like that, I want to say happy 4th of July to you guys. Myself, I was invited to a barbecue cookout thing. Um, although, I'm still not sure if I'm going to go or not. It's 12.19 right now, and it's not until 4 this afternoon. So I still have a few hours to decide, but I'll probably go because free food. That's really the main motivation for me going. <laughs> Which I know sounds terrible, but it's the truth. I mean, you can't turn down free food, come on. Well, before we go in there, let's go over here and desecrate this grave and steal a short sword. Yeah, very nice upgrade for Kai there. 20 points, oh man. And normally I would say you want to search all the flowers like you do in any other village, but there's nothing in those, so I'll spare you. Hey, who's that? But yeah, um, are you guys doing anything special today? Like cookouts, hangouts, fireworks? Uh, let me know. Focus my thoughts. I want to see Luffy naked. I want to see Luffy naked. Uh, I mean... How would you know that? Wait, what? The guy? Okay, standard laws of RPGs dictate that if you're going to save the world, you have to be a teenager, so... I'll be generous and say Guy was 16, maybe 18 at the most, during the Battle of Doom Island. That was a hundred years ago. So at the very least, he's 115? Impossible, exactly. <laughs> oh, game. Traveling? Is that how you spell traveling? I could have sworn it was 1L. Well, what's wrong, guy? You're not going to tell us, are you, game? Well, I'm sure it's nothing. Pay no attention to that. Hell yeah! More party members! With Guy. Alright. Huh? What's going on? Uh-oh. Sad music. I'll be quiet for this one, viewers. I like this music. Very touching. No, no. Guy forgot to wear his plot armor today. Wait, Artea's alive too? Well, y That was weird. Did the music just kind of glitch out there? Huh. Okay, so we need to head to a place called Grenoble to learn about Artea. And he dies. Oh no, I killed the bastard! Bonus points if you get that reference. Wait a second, that grave was already there before we buried Guy. Nah, never mind. I'm not gonna look into it. Once again, never question video game logic or plot holes for that matter. But speaking of that, <laughs> what is it with RPGs and people dying in cutscenes? You know, you go through the entire game taking beating after beating, getting hit by numerous spells, and you can just shrug everything off with a simple cure spell. But anytime a cutscene rolls around, oh no, all of a sudden, any restorative items or magic becomes ineffective. I know why they do that, but still, it's always like, <laughs> wait, what? At least with Fantasy Star 4, they try to explain it. Where Alice gets hit with the black energy wave, you know, 
nobody on Motavia has experienced anything like that before. It would make sense that uh, Rika doesn't have the ability to heal Alice. Granted, when you're hit by it a few hours later, it's nothing special, and you can just use your everyday heal spells there. But anyways, at least they try, you know? So I can overlook that. Well, yeah, he's the hero. Well, first thing on the agenda is we're going to desecrate Guy's memory by looting his treasure. All right. You know, I find it very fitting that Guy would have a strength boosting potion in his bookcase there. Nice touch game. And Grenoble is west of Lorbania. Well, how are we going to get there? Okay, so now I'm going to backtrack to track off screen. And when we come back, I will just meet you at the port. Okay, we're back here at Trek, and along the way, Lufia gained a level and hit level 5, finally. If you are not level 5 with Lufia by this point, I highly, I highly recommend turning your phone off before starting to record an episode, because people always like to text you when you're, well, recording. Sorry about that, guys. But now you know what my text message notifier sounds like. So anyways, uh, yeah, if you're not level 5 with Lufia by now, I strongly recommend getting to level 5. And also, Kai hit level 6, so there you go. Now the reason you want to be level 5 with Lufia is because she learns the Almighty Dew spell. Mountain Dew? No, just regular Dew. But that'll come into, into play and come in handy in the very, very near future. So with all that being said, let's check in with... Uh, this guy. He doesn't have a name, so we'll call him this guy. And I know we're at the 17 minute mark, but I'll go for a little bit of length on today's episode. Okay, so we need to get to Grenoble by way of Lorbania, but no more ships are sailing. Ah, but coincidentally, soldiers from Lorbania are here. Well, surely they have a ship we could use. And that's how you're supposed to know to come down here and talk to these guys. Oh, my mind is so in the gutter right now. But this is Agoro, commander of the Lorbanian army. Wait a minute, so the Lorbanian army actually has soldiers that get up off their ass and react? What? Yeah, we ran circles around that guy for a little bit. Uh oh. God damn it. Yeah, kick-ass! With kick-ass music for boss time, our first real boss battle of the game. And this one is quite challenging. So we want to go with the Dew Spell because it is a water elemental spell that hits an entire group of enemies. And you want to do that early on in the fight because nothing really special has happened. And these guys have the very annoying ability to cast Mirror on themselves. They can also heal themselves. And on top of that, you have the targeting system working against you, making it damn near impossible to focus your attacks on a single target. So, yeah, that's pretty annoying, but luckily, none of them had used Mirror. So yeah, let's continue to whittle them all down, little by little. And as you saw, they have a Dew spell of their own. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh crap, Luffy is gonna get hit twice three times. Oh man, 
That went about as poorly as it could have. Ow. Hey, one of them, okay. This is manageable now, but you still want the healer, or not the healer, the hero, to be your main healer. And you want Lufia to help out with potions once you see them start casting Mirror. Because Agoro's magic defense is terrible. <laughs> He's essentially a reincarnation of Guy. Pure melee bruiser with a ton of strength, but very, very little magic defense. Okay, now we're in the clear. Yeah, once you kill the first one, followed by the second one, this battle just becomes so much more manageable. But don't be afraid to have your, uh, your main hero there step up and be a healer. That's why he has the strong spell. If you're having trouble with this fight, though, um, you can get Lufia up to level 7, and she'll also learn the, heal, uh, the strong spell. So having a backup healer would be pretty useful, but alright, we got him! Uh, decent level up for Lufia. And a Goro leveled up, alright. I even fought them left-handed. If I use my right hand, it's no fun. It's over too quickly. Right. Well, revenge, of course. Oh, and saving the world, I suppose, would be a close second. Wait, your ship got destroyed by monsters. Oh, whoops, spoiler alert. Sorry guys, I guess Agoro hadn't noticed his ship had been sunk quite yet. What about the ship the monsters came on? Where did that go? Of course we can, he has green hair. Okay, so before I end this video... Uh, let's... Oh my god. Apparently I'm very popular today. Okay, well, we want to buy a cloth helmet for Agoro, because even though he's the commander of the Lorbanian army, he doesn't have a full set of armor. <laughs> okay, and... Yep, that's pretty much all I want to do. So, in between episodes, I'm going to rest up at the inn, save my game at the church, and when we come back next time... We will head out to see what we can do about finding a new ship or recovering the stolen Maberia. So until then guys, hope you have a good day, take care, and as always, thank you for watching.